one of the areas, you know, that we've really grown to and um, our office has done a great job at reaching out to our community, not just our campus community, but like Jeremy was saying, we're located in Florence, Alabama, which is a lot of times considered the shoal. So looking at our community at large and how we can better you know, streamline our process for accommodations, letting students that are in transition programs or, or transition situations between looking at their accommodations between high school and college, like how can we support them? How can we get in front of their face, even if they're not coming to UNA, knowing what what steps they need to take best. So we've, we've developed a lot of those relationships with our local high schools. Um, we, I can name of about four that we've gone to at least this year. Um, another area in which we tapped into this year is our JAG program in some of our county schools, um, which stands for Jobs for Alabama Graduates, or it's a national, you know, initiative. And we were able to go and talk about not only if those students are going to a community college or going to college, but what does it look like when we advocate for, you know, accommodations in the workforce, in in internships? And then also this allows us to, you know, talk about our process, how how you can come into college and request accommodations and then getting those parents involved, answering any questions that they may have, you know, any reassurance, letting them know about some of our enhanced services programs to get their students engaged and kind of easing some of those anxieties that they have with the transition. Yeah. And and don't cringe when we say get the parents involved, because it's not like, hey, if your student comes to our universities, here's what accommodations that they're going to get. You know, they have to go through the interactive process for that. But it, it's just educating them on the process, you know, educating them on the difference between high school and, and college. And we'll talk a little bit about that later on. And then, you know, when Megan said streamline in our process, you know, when we moved our process all completely electronic so that it's easier for the professors, it's easier for the students to request accommodations. It's easier for the professors to get the accommodation sheets and get them back to us. 